Hello again beautiful souls. I feel like I need to catch you up a little bit as we've been on an emotional journey in all the ways you can. Physically, mentally, it even feels like we've come full circle since our van life years, travelling around, seeking and never finding. And what is it that we really want? It's all come up for us again on this recent trip to clarify things and view this enchanting cottage for sale, which was rather unique and special. I'm so grateful for all the beauty and potential to find our little piece of heaven. And though it scares me a little to say it out loud, which we've actually been inconsistently searching and seeking for a decade now. I thought I would bring you with me to the wild forests and mountains of Wales. James has met with the agent and there's I think some more viewings at the same time because it's kind of a bit of a unique situation because it's in the national park. We have to be escorted down. What time is it? 49 now. <laughs> what are we doing babe? We're going on a road trip. Tell them about the cottage. Well it's very nice location. Totally off grid. It's in need of repair. It's not knocking down the rebuilding. <laughs> we just don't know. No. But we might be able to afford it. We just don't know that either, do we? No, we don't know a few things. <laughs> so it's kind of getting light now, so it's very pretty. The sun's gonna come up soon. What are your thoughts about the cottage? Have you got any like thoughts before many, we go? Many. So what, what are you thinking about? Thinking about can we afford it? Yeah. Thinking do we want it? The off the grid idea. There's a lot of conflicting uh, thoughts really I suppose. To sort of summarise, we've been told it's absolutely pitch black up here at night time when there's no moon. I want to see if, if I feel safe there. Yeah. If you were away and I was on my own. Yeah. How would I feel? Would I feel safe? Yeah. I'm sure I'd be fine. I get used to it anyway. We'll have a dog. <laughs> we'll have a couple of dogs. We can actually choose whether to have a dog if we buy a place. Very curious. Oh, another thing that uh, yeah, I was talking to with my colleague was about the the, uh, the fact that it's three acres and it's in the photos that we've seen of it, it's very long grass. So how are we going to manage that? Do we get a machine, which is probably not really the way we want to go, or do we get a good machine? Never have all the answers, but we won't need them today. I never meant to break a promise. I never meant to run away. But you know how to skip the madness, and I can only. really windy so I don't know if you can hear me but let's come back to the car to uh, you can see I'm in the middle of a woods and yeah I've just come to put my boots on because my feet were cold in my sandals it's a bit cold in the mountains or a bit colder than down where I normally am James has met with the agent and there's I think some more people some more viewings at the same time because it's kind of a bit of a unique situation because it's in the kind of national park so we have to be escorted down because it's private land so we have to go in convoy and then I think we have like this group viewing so I'll try to film as much as I can it's gorgeous doing a bit of a convoy now be another game to be honest it looks like they're parking it's the lake oh it's the lake
so video notes I am pondering on access road so this is the path um, there are some people up there so I just want to kind of respect privacy but yeah just notes to self this path here mm, if you've got a very small car <laughs> but you probably want a 4x4 even so a very small 4x4 so I can see the cottage through there that's the cottage there there's James coming he was catching up a little bit because he was busy taking some photos. So across the little bridge, like the three billy goats gruff, and then our first little look at the land and the little cottage. We really didn't know what to expect with this one. There's James catching up again. But we're just getting a feel of the place. And this little part here really gives the essence of the location, I think. I was pleasantly surprised that it wasn't quite as tumble down and it was a bit more solid than I was expecting actually. And I know it's going to need some work, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I was a bit blown away already, to be honest. You can see its quaint and enchanted charms. <laughs> Conveniences. <laughs> So, no running water though at the moment. Such one. I don't know. These old shoes. <laughs> All that land that we can see here, that comes with the cottage. And I'm just trying to get a feel of the view, you know, from the actual Yay. building. Let's go and have a look inside then, shall we? This was so cute. It had a really lovely feel. And it wasn't cold like, you know, a lot of cottages are. It was really cosy. We were obviously seeing it on a really nice day, so it was nice and warm anyway. But yeah, sometimes you step inside these really old stone cottages, don't you? And it's really, really chilly. But this one was just cute and cosy. I love that little front door. And I wasn't expecting another room downstairs, so this was a little bit of a surprise. There's a little sink in here as well, which I believe was plumbed in from the water from the stream at one point. Hello, just waving <laughs> in the mirror. I'm a little bit windswept, I'm afraid. It was really windy. Trying to give you a good look at the cottage as well, so just from the other angle. But there was nice light, even though the windows were tiny. It was cute and had a really nice feel, if you know what I mean. James. <laughs> Upstairs. Oh my goodness, it's literally like a little Wendy house up here. So. I don't even think I can stand up, let alone James. There's a special name for this loft and I can't remember. But look, somebody has painted the cottage. Upstairs. Yeah, I'm upstairs, babe. <laughs> and a little window. And then I am literally not standing up, so it's like a little fairy room. <laughs> uh, and then James is just coming here, obviously. I think we've got the upstairs to ourselves for a minute, which is nice. But yeah, you can see it's not full height. There is a little teeny tiny window, which is really cute, with the trees. And yeah, so oh, wow. that's, that's a cute one. Little view, isn't it? I could have a studio up there for now, but I love that little painting. You can see some of the, um, I'll show it on the video as well so that you can see the roof insulation and stuff basic but it's actually in better condition than i was expecting babe mm. it feels solid look somebody's obviously put new yeah that's a good view down there yeah so it has been put they have put some new beams in there it's very cute i'm a little bit nervous to come down here but um yeah it's Someone asked me as well why the current owners were selling the place. It's always interesting to know, isn't it? 
I believe there was an older couple living there. I don't know if they were living there full time, but a lot of the time, especially him. And sadly he died, he passed away. And so I think the wife has moved in with family and doesn't want to be there on her own for obvious reasons. And they'd left these photo albums for the visitors in the cottage to show a little bit of the history. It was really intriguing to see, to get a little peek into their life while they were here. Very special. You can't get the car it's up not, here then. Okay. Did that change things for you? No, we're just talking about access to the land. Right. And the, 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 the plot does extend up to the road. Okay. So literally you'd have to create your own drive. Right. To get Oh, vehicle. okay. To get my van. Get my van. Get my van. Look at snow. Bulldozer. JCB. And snow. <laughs> yeah, the stairs. Probably put a different staircase in. It's not cold, is it? I mean, I know it's a warm day, but. So, well. I Did you see? I didn't realise there was another room. So you've actually got the living yeah. and then a bedroom. Yeah. I thought so it was just. The sink, I, it? Yeah, I thought it was just one room downstairs, and I thought this was one of the upstairs rooms. No. So it's literally two two down and then sort of half and a half upstairs. It was made for me. Cup of tea. Oh. Aya? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Your hand? My hand. Warm my hands, but my feet's by the fire. Yeah. A little doggy. A little doggy, three. Got your pans hanging up, that. Yeah. It's exactly the same as what Grandma had. Yeah. Oh, a bit of whiskey, isn't it? Oh, is that? <laughs> it is, yeah. There's some honey or something in that one. Very cute. Who needs a fitted kitchen, eh, Bob? There's the gaslet for the cooker. Oh, come on, yeah. So that. But that's the box. For the oven. And wood. I'm having I'm having some special issues. <laughs> no water. Did some work on the lake. Isn't that cute? All that land though is part of it. It's like nearly three acres I believe. Yeah, they've created a little snug area. And then there's another little outbuilding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. this is really good, isn't it? It's great. So, have they still to move out? Or, I mean, all the oh, yeah, there's like, a lot of stuff, right? right? You notice inside. Yeah. There was still some very... Occasional kind of visit rather than a yeah, full time. Yeah, I, I think he may have lived here for quite a while himself. Though. Oh, right, okay. Because um, the amount of time he must have spent. Mm doing things here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's got a filter. Watch your hand. Oh, yeah. What, what's, oh, I see. So that was part of where he was pumping the water up from the stream, maybe. You'd have to dig out to find out where that stuff goes. That's, that's, right. that's right. And then storing his wood and stuff. You're not going to be short on wood, are you? No. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they're not as much managed as they used to be. Right. On, on the forest. Right. Yeah. It might get better. The mine, yeah. Well, if you've done this side. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. A little sausage dog. Yeah. So very, very pretty, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks like he's actually going into the it's it's a... outhouse. So where is the... Um, bare left, it says. Oh yeah, it's like a little path. James and I wanted to investigate something in particular because there's an old mine on the property and there is actually an entrance access point there so we wanted to check that out. It had actually been closed off but we'd also heard that in the past trespassers had actually accessed it because they wanted to explore and go down there. It's so mossy and ferny and pretty and... Imagine just waking up and having a coffee around here. It's a big drop, that. I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Good job for yoga. 
Christmas tree look. <laughs> so do you think people can access that or is not that part of it? They just go underground. Because if like those trees there, Bubba, that, that's actually like a bit disappointing, isn't it? That those trees there are subject because they're forestry commission, they could be chopped down and replanted. Can you imagine can you imagine the noise? And the disruption. Yeah. We'd have to move out for a couple of weeks, months. Oh look, it's got the lichen on the tree, which means the air's really pure. I'm sure there was more, more than one entrance. I think there's just one on this property. Look, that's fenced off there, but someone's climbed over that. Whoa, look at that old tree and it's um That's literally rocks. It's, it's, yeah, right there. Right there, yeah. Mm, tree's peeping. That's, That's the tree fairy's for permission. Knock, knock, knock. So I'm guessing that is the, the border of the land. <laughs> We've got a fence here. Look at those mossy rocks. I mean, I just love those. I could sit there and ponder. <laughs> oh, yeah, so look. This fence has come down because some I reckon somebody's wanted access to the mine. Oh, that would be it. And then they climb. A little whisk it, yeah. yeah. We could actually fence that off. That's not on the land then, this tree. But what a beauty. No. His branches are on, but Mikey. Right, go down. Okay, let's go down. Remember that smell? Right, the ferns. Yeah. It's a good smell. This to me looks like there's water running down here because it's that kind of. Oh, yeah, bumpy. Where it's just, yeah. Trumpy grass. Yeah. It's raining. We're gonna have a rainbow. The ground's so soft underfoot that it's like, I'm not quite sure what, what I'm putting my feet on and whether it's actually got anything solid underneath sink right into it. It's not like swampy, it's just really, really s spongy. You sink right into it, it's like, whoa. <laughs> whoa, see? Kind of lose your foot, but yeah. James is down there. I don't know if I want to go down there. I'm a bit unsure of my, my feet, my wobbling on my, le on my legs. Are you sure you can get down there? Doesn't look like you can get down there. <laughs> I'm going back. <laughs> but there's the path where James is. Where that bridge. And then running along. So where that man's walking basically, which is perfect timing. So I can see that there's a public path there. And you know, so we are rural, but we're not super remote. Um, you've got walkers passing by. And it's James gone. James has literally disappeared down there somewhere. Maybe the fairies have got him. Yeah, see where this guy's walking. But there's a little stream on the land, you can kind of hear it. So let's go and have a look. James still hasn't appeared, so I think he's probably finding a way to the path because... Oh yeah, there he is! <laughs> oh dear. Okay. This is where probably the water would come from because in the past they've uh, piped water from the stream. 
can see there's like a little James and there is the cottage this gives an idea if you walk if you walk the land and then have a look at yeah how it looks and how it feels James is calling me over there now because of the stream so I'm just gonna I think I might go around this way navigate this way it looks a bit easier and trying really hard not to wobble the camera so sorry if it's a bit wobbly oh <laughs> Paddling pool. James has found the paddling pool. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's actually a bath. That probably actually that's is. That's a jacuzzi. You've got a seat there, look. Oh my gosh! A bit of sunlight, look. The thing is, you've got the public path there. Daylight coming down. The bath here. Yeah. Public path there. You can put a barrier up. light into the water. Oh, How clear the water is. That sun literally just... And then look, fairyland. And that goes down there, down that way. Yeah. Someone's cleared a pathway. Yeah. This is a proper yeah. pathway. Yeah. I'm going to have a look at the northern end of the pot. Everyone's down by the cottage, but I guess the cottage looks good. Notes to self. Laundry. <laughs> you can rig up a washing machine as well. We've seen it done off grid. You could use a twin tub, that's low energy. We could probably solar or power it by Jenny. But there might be a possibility to cut to get onto the grid, on the electric grid here, because other houses have have it, so we could hook in at a cost, of course. Apple trees. Yeah, old apple trees. Probably want a good prune. There's miners' toilets. Yeah. Miners' toilets? Yeah. yeah, so that they have the kind of seat, like a, it's like a wooden cube, and then they'd use a bucket, oh. and then they'd bring the bucket out. Yeah. And there's a few carts as well, where they bring the ore out. <laughs> She's talking about the mines. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a nice feel to it notes to self so yeah of course it would need a complete reno job and who knows structurally what the surveyor would find the light i mean you've only got but one torch at the moment teeny window there but then you've got the doorway and you I could do ideas for what to do upstairs I'm not going back up there because I didn't like coming down for the moment. I'm going to look at the north, north end and see what's, see what's beyond the ferns. So let's go and find James. really can't see him. <laughs> Reading my way through the long grass. There's a bit of a wall here, but I know it's not the boundary wall for the land. I'm guessing James is over here. Jenny! Where are you? If I do that, I might see James coming. I didn't know where you were, babe. For the for the for this 
property then yeah. goes. You go the wrong way there, I believe, and, and stop at the road and go the wrong way where yeah, that solar panel is. Yeah. Really soft, like a literally like a mattress. I got it. I got it. I got it. I see yeah, the just sink down into it. <laughs> okay. 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 Got it. I got it. It's this. Yeah. You can't find my shoe. See? That's what I mean when I'm saying a little bit wobbly. About walking. It's like walking on a trampoline. Very spongy. Here, look. See? Ow. How do you feel about that? I, I was picturing more a, a, a wider distance from that. Public path. Cottage in the woods. See the cottage tools. Just in behind. The, this is the track. Cars down there. Can't see the cottage. See the mountains though. So it's obviously a unique opportunity, and that kind of speaks for itself. But there were also obvious concerns to be thought about. The public and popular pathway right there on the doorstep. So it didn't feel private at all. And that was the whole point of it really, so that was a big negative. I'm not sure about whether the mine and trespassers would be a problem, but definitely something to consider. Another big concern was the possibility of lead contamination in the water source, which had been reported in the past, so that would need to be checked too. We're going to the Airbnb scene. We can't check in yet. Oh, yeah. Interesting choice of footwear, yes. Socks I stole from James. So yes, plenty to think about, not to mention the money needed to spend on the place to make it into a permanent, comfortable and easy abode, more than just a holiday haven. And finally, how off-grid did James and I want to be? And these questions brought us back full circle, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, in that we spent several years living and travelling in our van on a quest to find a home, somewhere to put roots down. At the time, we thought we wanted a very rustic, off-grid place, but after revisiting all our experiences and memories on this trip, we realised it's just not what we want anymore, which felt quite monumental, like the ending of one dream and the beginning of another. Time to clarify, get honest, and really soul search into the present and what we are looking for now. Wow, they've got a pond. It's cosy in here right now. Yeah, it's very nice. I like the cosy. Exactly. There's a little oh, steering room. Oh, look, that's the barbecue. Is this the fridge freezer then? Oh yeah, fridge freezer. Uh, fridge freezer. Move. Let's see. Oh, a little toilet. Toast. Cozy as toast. What else oh. we got? Oh, this is so cute. <gasps> Room with a view, babe. It's a nice view, that side. Okay, the, the little doorways are cute, aren't they? They're like little fairy doors. Oh, look, there's the master bedroom. It's kind of on an angle, which is cute. <gasps> Isn't that cute? And again, you've got that nice view. Yeah. Tall window, that. Is this a door? No, yeah. it's a tall window. Not even a little dressing table or a little editing table. What's going to be behind this door? <gasps> a bright little twin. So cute. What's in there? Something. Uh, I don't What's know. missing? The bathroom, the shower. Oh yeah, look. Wow, the big shower. Yeah. Really nice. So thank you so much for watching and keeping me company on this little adventure. Try to keep your light shining bright and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.